My name is Nuala O'Connor and I want to talk to you a little bit today about how you manage stress, how I manage stress. How do we all manage stress? It's a question I like to ask of my clients online or here face to face and it's a question I like to ask of myself and it's a question now I'm asking of you. How do we manage our stress? And it's something we need to think about because if we're not looking after our own wellness and if we're not retuning our own thought patterns and our own lifestyle habits then we're going to run out of juice as I say and we're not going to manage our own stress and we're the ones who are going to end up stressed and possibly we are already possibly you are already are you easily irritated are you biting the heads of kids for no reason do you find yourself tearful sick to the pit of your stomach at the thoughts of having to get up out of bed in the morning not able to sleep at night um, constantly constantly thinking you can't cope overwhelmed that sense of being overwhelmed they're all indications going from being really anxious to being depressed they're all indications that you're overstressed that you're triggering a stress response all the time and so your neurotransmitter energies are a little bit askew sugar is another thing that can overstress us um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this but when we eat processed sugar, it literally takes up all the magnesium we have in our system and a lot of other minerals to help us try and regulate that sugar. That can overstress us because then we don't have those minerals, those essential nutrients to help us do all the other things that we normally do in our day. I always look at every day. This morning I got up and I did my affirmations. I was truly grateful for my night's sleep, but I was conscious that I was tired. Now I got why I was tired. Yesterday I was doing an online course all day, and digital marketing and computers and stuff like that, not my forte really. Um, you, wouldn't, might, you mightn't think it with all the stuff I put up here, but it isn't. Um, so I was doing something around that to upskill a little bit. And, and then I was online last night again with Toastmasters, which is something I love doing and didn't think I could miss it. But this morning I'm tired because I spent all day in front of a screen. So I have to manage that. And the first words that come into my head when I think about that is, new day, new way. It's a phrase I sort of came up with last year. Was it the year before? I can't remember, but it, it works for me. Every day is a new day. And that really ties into the Celtic tradition here in Ireland. You woke with the sun, you woke in the morning, you got up, it was a new day. Yesterday was gone, nothing we can do about it. Today is a new day and it's time for a new way. What is my new way? What is your new way? What is your new way of dealing with stress? Do you drink enough water? We need about a litre and a half to two litres of water a day. Water. Good, clean water, which is the next point. Excuse me. Are you drinking water out of a tap, which is probably the best place to get it, but is it clean water and do you filter it? Maybe you're drinking it from a well. Are you drinking plastic bottles? How long have those plastic bottles been sitting? And so has the plastic seeped carcinogenics into the water? So the type of water we drink is important as well. Adding a little bit of lemon to your water can help cleanse the water. Are you exercising? Exercise is one of the best things we can do. And I'm not talking about getting into a gym. You don't have to do that. I'm big on rebounding. You might see that from my site. But even just the normal things in the day, rather than send somebody else up the stairs to get what you want, go up the stairs. Bend down in the kitchen to pick out what you want. That's all no, what we call normal everyday exercise that we need. Walk to the shop, walk the dog, walk out to the garden. Exercise normally, as I say. Are you getting away from being in front of the computer? Are you standing up? Are you stretching? That's what I was at yesterday throughout the day. Up out of the chair and moving. Are you sleeping? And the best time to prepare for sleep is during the day. By drinking water, by eating foods that don't cause us to be stressed. Because at night, that's when we start to reset everything. And if we're, our system's upset, that's when it will have to do the most work. Are you sleeping in a darkened room? Are you sleeping with no machines around you? Are you going to bed with no machines so you can prepare for sleep? Are you resting even if you wake? Are you staying in bed and resting? 
Are you thinking positive thoughts? Are you protecting your energy and yourself during your day? These are all things to think about for yourself. I call it wellness planning. I call it getting ahead of your own stress, figuring it out for yourself and then putting in place a little plan that will help you. Things that you're already doing, you just maybe need to tweak them a little bit to have a wellness plan. If that's something you'd like to do, contact me. But, but think about it. Think about your health and your wellness. Think about what you're doing to boost yourself, what you're doing to help yourself. That's what's important. Are you taking a breath? Do you close your mouth and breathe through your nose? Because that's our first line of defense when we breathe through our nose. Absolutely. So that's all I wanted to say this morning. I just wanted to remind you to, to help yourself, to, to think about what you're doing about your stress levels, what you're doing to help you manage stress. What am I doing to help me manage stress? I'll be on my rebinder soon. I'm drinking my water. I get up in the morning, I have my water there. I start drinking my water. I'm saying positive affirmations. I have my healthy breakfast. I take my nutritional supplements. I'm also very conscious that it's getting darker every day. This is the time to start taking the vitamin D. This is the time to start taking the vitamin D. And I'd say D3, K2, maybe even D2. This is the time, take it as an oil, take it as a fat, sol it's a fat soluble vitamin, take it as an oil and start getting it into you in the morning. Put a few drops over your breakfast, you get an oil capsule, a good one, and take it every day. Our sun is declining already, take it now. Have a fabulous day. I'll be back tomorrow morning with some tapping. Um, and I, I, want, I genuinely hope you take some time now to think about what you do to help you manage stress today what you do for your wellness. Take care.